In this video, I'm going to be talking about passing the A-plus exam, Core 1 and Core 2, 1101 and 1102. Uh, in this video, I'm also going to be giving you a whole bunch of exam tips for each of the exam in this video. My name is Andrew Ramdial. I am one of the instructors here at the Technical Institute of America, where I teach a variety of classes, including A+, Net+, Security+, CEA, CI, SSP, and many other security-related stuff. So let's get started. So right off the bat, guys, I am one of the instructors here. I've been A-plus certified for the last 20 years. And my, I took my first A-plus exam in 2001, I believe. And uh, every time a new A-plus comes out and I have to teach it or I have to make videos for it, I basically take the exam to know, hey, this is what's on the exam. This is what they're going to be asking. This is what I should be teaching. So I do that all the time. I know a lot of instructors out there, they, they teach the courses without taking the test because they were certified 15 years ago or 10 years ago and they're teaching it on a blind eye. Not me. I am making brand new videos for core one and core two for this particular 1101 and 1102. If you take our live classes, they're all going to incorporate all the feedback that I got from doing these exams. And I make sure the instructors here take the exam. You can't teach the, you cannot teach the exam if you haven't taken the exam. I know it's a big investment, $500, but it's the only way I'm going to know what I'm talking about when I'm teaching it. So look for my upcoming classes on the 1101 and the 1102 exams coming in a few weeks. Also, the practice exams, I think, is going to kill it. I think I'm going to have some amazing practice exams. Anyhow, you didn't come here to, t to hear me talk this. Let's talk about the exams themselves. So I'll, core one. Now, there's a lot of surprises that I got uh, on both exams. So I titled this video Big Surprises because it was really big surprises. So core one exam. The core one exam I felt was actually harder than the core two. And going into the core one exam, I was expecting a lot of hardware. Not generally speaking, the first the first A plus exam is generally going to be hardware oriented. What I didn't expect was the sheer amount of printer questions go figure on that so the first thing up i'm going to tell you guys is you need to know printer parts printer troubleshooting know what part belongs to what printer like a ribbon is a ribbon used in a dot matrix is it used in an inkjet is it used in a, in, a, in a laser printer you have to know what printer part belongs where and you have to know what these parts are doing so the printer has this problem then what part needs to be replaced oddly enough now, in real life, guys, we don't do a lot of printer, uh, you know, printer troubleshooting in our real life as a technician, but CompTIA wants you to know this. By the way, this video is going to be pretty long, so sit back. Um, the next thing here, and I have my notes right here I wanted to talk about. The next thing up is you're going to have to know a lot of troubleshooting steps. CompTIA has their own troubleshooting steps. You're going to get a few questions on this. You're going to need to know what to do next. Like the technician has done this. What are you going to do next? Now, I did get quite a few networking questions, networking cables, connecting this device to this device, connecting a cable modem to a desktop or a cable modem to a wall. What type of cables are used? Is it coax? Is it RJ45? Is it a fiber optic cable? What are you using to connect to what? So you're going to have to know those cables, different types of modem connections. Um, one thing about networking in this in this exam it's quite a lot of questions on networking. Uh, you're going to have to know what each network device does. Like, what does a switch do? What does a router do? What does a hub do? What creates broadcast domain? What creates collision domains? These were basically Network Plus questions, but they're in your exam right now. No virtualization and cloud computing. What's a hypervisor? What hardware is needed to virtualize this? How do we run virtualization? Uh... The big surprise here was that not too many questions on hardware. All right, that was a big surprise. I didn't get a ton of questions on hardware, maybe a few questions on hardware, such as knowing hardware beep codes, like if the computer beeps a few times, what does this mean? Uh, what type of hardware is used where? Like a SODIM is used in what type of machine? So not too much hardware questions, although I was expecting a lot. I did not get a lot. So that was a big surprise. Big surprise is more networking, more cloud computing, uh, virtualization, and uh, less hardware. 
believe that or not. So if you're studying for this exam, know your hardware, but don't pound on it too much. I prefer for you to spend more time learning networking, more time learning cloud computing definitions, and virtualization seems to be a lot. And of course, those troubleshooting steps. You know what else I was thinking about? It seems like every other question was a printer question. They were pretty easy, but still, it's probably not. You know, it was probably like maybe five, ten questions probably. But to me, it felt like there was just a damn lot of printer questions. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I've been a technician for like 20 years, 20 something years, fixing all types of problems. And I've never really done printer much. Like, it's not something we fix too much of. A lot of times, you just got to get the manufacturer to do it. Go figure. All right, let's move on to uh, core two. And this is this exam surprised the hell out of me. Okay. It really, really surprised me going into the exam. By the way, I did these tests back to back. I did one at three o'clock. I did one at like five o'clock. So really like finish one, start the other one. And um, I was really expecting quite a lot of questions on operating system problems. And I didn't get that. I didn't get a lot of operating system problems. What I ended up getting, believe it or not, is a bunch of security. At one point, I didn't know whether I was taking security plus or I was taking A plus. Like I, there were two points in the exam. I looked up and I said to myself, this is a CISSP question. This is a question that belongs on my, I teach this in CISSP, which is the granddaddy gold standards of IT security certification. And I, I, I didn't know whether, wait a minute, did I make a mistake? Am I taking security plus here for a second? Uh, just a tons of security questions. So with that in mind, you're going to have to know things, uh, know things such as the basics of cryptography, like what's a hash, what's a, what's a symmetric key. Know things such as characteristics of infections, ransomware, crypt, uh, crypto mining, uh, worm, Trojans, know the characteristics. Like if the machine is having this problem, oh, that's a ransomware. Uh, and how do you solve those things, right? How do, what are the steps to remove in malware from a computer? It seems like a lot of questions on that. A variety of different security controls, like how do you, what are physical controls used to secure data center, I think? Um, no remote, uh, access technology is going to go into a little bit of networking, know how to remotely access different types of machines. Um, uh, and then comes the networking. So not a ton of networking. But in both exams, you needed to know wireless. You need to know wireless configurations inside out. You have to know how to configure a device to join a certain network. Now, we do cover this in the course. I do this with you. I show it to you on Windows. We'll talk about it on a variety of tablets and phones. You'll need to know all that. You really need to know wireless configurations. It seems to be a lot of questions on that. Um, when it comes to networking, also, of course, you got to know your port numbers. Comptee will always give you one of those, uh, whether it's known SMTP, FTP, SSL, IMAP, uh, uh, time protocols, and so on. You're going to have to know your port numbers. Uh, when it came to operating systems, I think knowing your commands, I was expecting a lot of questions of commands, but I didn't get a lot. No commands, no basic commands in Linux. I did get a question on that. I'm not going to tell you what the command is. If not, comp to you, it'll probably crucify me. Um, no com basic commands in Windows. Like if Windows boots up and there's like a problem somewhere, you see you see this error, like, okay, this is a command I can use to fix this. That you'll need to know. No different versions of Windows. So this version of Windows has these features. This version of Windows, like Windows Home has this, Pro does it. A Pro has this, but Home doesn't have this. That you'll need to know. Uh, you also need to know, of course, security stuff. Troubleshooting steps here also there may ask a question on that. Okay. Did I get everything here? Uh, yes, I think I got all my notes in here. Okay. So those were the main topics that I want you to know for your exam. Now, if you're studying for this exam and you want some tips right now, uh, my best tip that I've always given students studying for their A plus exam has always been to use a lot of hands on training. Do a lot of labs. Now, if you know to, in my courses right now, if you do my, if you do my, um, 1000 series exams, you'll notice that I do, it's mostly a lab class. I showed you everything in labs. I do everything where I show you how to install Windows, how to install virtualization. I actually show you how to use cloud computer and so on. And that's what you guys should be doing. The more labs you guys do, the more practice you guys do, the easier this exam will become. 
the more you know it well. And because of that, uh, because of the labs you're doing, when you see the questions, you'll be able to answer them quickly. Now, I was able to finish both exams in about 30 minutes each, uh, even though they give you, I think, 90 minutes, something like that. I breached through the exam pretty quickly. Yes, I did pass both of them, if you're wondering. So do a lot of labs. Review back this video. See the things I'm talking about. Go through the exam objectives and make sure you know the terms that are listed there. Now, if you're wondering, wait, this guy just gave away the whole exam. No, I didn't give you anything specific. I didn't give you the questions. I gave you some topics that I saw, but there's not none of the topics that I told you is out of the exam objectives. They come right out of the exam. This is what I saw. When you take this exam, it might be different. You might see different things. Uh, so everybody exam will be different. And this is the beginning of this brand new exam. It'll be, around, it'll be around for about three years. And of course, the exam will change over time. So if you're watching this video too, if you're watching this video two years from now, you know, it might, it might be different. Uh, but the idea here is a lot of, do a lot of hands on trading. Now, with that in mind, guys, look for my course. When the courses come out, I'll put the links in the description below. If you're interested, check it. If you want to join our live classes and ace your exam on the first try, we welcome that. If not, check the link below for our uh, actual video-based courses on this. And, of course, I'm making some really good practice exams that's really going to mimic the real test. It's never going to be like the real test. It's, I can't remember the questions word for word anymore. It's all like a vague memory. I did take some notes when I was finished the exam. That's where I got my notes here from. Uh, but you know, hopefully our, our exams will help you to pass your actual A plus exam. If you find this video helpful and you find the information in this video helpful, click on the like button, subscribe to our channel. We're going to be making a lot more content on this exam, uh, a lot more tips on how to pass your A plus or net plus or security plus. If you like, if, if you like, uh, my presentation, check out our courses and I'll see you in the next video.